We are already in the center. Already close to the drain. Very soon we're going to use the lever to see if we have the quarter inch slope. But with this reference is more likely that we're going to have it. If not, we're going to remove or head more um, mud to achieve this target. So what I want to show you here, I want to concentrate here on the center and you can see I actually fill up the mud under the stick here. This is important because the stick close, when they close to the drain, they are actually floating in the hair, maybe a quarter of an inch. So it's important to actually fill it up under it also with mud. That next to the drain, it should be one and a half inch, and you can see it's exactly one and a half inch. So that's good according to the standard. So we're actually achieving uh, what we actually want. So we finished two slices here, but this is another piece of of the shower. Now we go in here. It's the this slice. I call it the slice because it's really divided to different part with a stick and you can see what we're doing here we actually moving excess of the mud toward the center and with that one we're creating the slope by using the references which are the stick it's very easy with the stick it's really easy to work with so if you don't buy the sticks probably you save $30 but you will have to work quite uh, hard to reach it okay so it's only 10 to 30 dollars which I think it's worth it so you can see we're using the trowel different trowels here just to remove an excess but you have to be very careful because it's a metal and it's sharp and you don't really want to penetrate the line I think now we're putting the last pile of mud and from now on we're going to have quite a bit of work to straight and to make the slope properly and to straight the mud and to pack it that will take another probably an hour or so to finish it perfectly so as you can see we almost finish But this finish is really only the beginning of, of the correction we're going to do. So we use 2 by 4 and bricks and flood to really pack the mud properly all around the shower bed We're using now the brick and it really helped this brick to do it I want to show you what happened next to the, to the mesh here is the mesh, but really have to put it from here to see what happened. And it's really, if you look at it, you can see that the mesh actually is over the mesh here, and it's all the mesh properly. That mesh will not really move anymore. So after that, we can build the curve. We build the curve properly, so. Here is the stuff, what it looks like. You can see the bad mud is actually here and it's holding the mesh to its position. So you see the technique with the stick. With the wood stick, we actually slowly, slowly moving excess of bad mud to where the center, to where the drain really, which is the cent almost the center. 
What I can say is that this work is the main time, and but everybody can do it. There is no rush here, and it just uh, I can say a dirty job. You see how nice this stick, the black stick, actually uses as a reference here. So we cannot make mistakes really on the slope. Now we are walking where is the drain, so look very carefully what we're doing. We just fill it up with end, with mud, and we compress it. We compress the mud next to the drain. Remember, we can adjust the drain to the right height so we don't have any problem here just what we want to do, we want to pack the mud around the drain So until now we put five bag of mud, which each bag is 55 pound. It's actually 225 pound of bed mud is on the shower floor. We actually completed the work and I just want to show you a couple of things here. First thing is the level. Okay, so if I take the level now and I'll show you how it's gone. So if you take this level, so you can see that I have to really to raise the level quite a bit to get to a level because it is a slope and it's quite a rapid slope. The slope here is bigger than the slope here. Okay, if I take a small level, so if I take the small level, okay, this level you can see, and you see how much I have to raise the level in order to get to a level. That's quite a bit of slope here. And here the slope is a little bit smaller, and the reason is, so here is the level, you can see, this one is level, but you can see how slope it is. It's exactly a quarter of an inch per one feet, or one foot. So now, what we need to do, the last thing we need to do, we need to, to take the tiles that we want to install on the shower and make sure that it's actually flesh with the drain. Otherwise, we need to actually correct it because when it's cure, it's going to be a big problem if you're not going to do it. So, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the tile and I move it here and I can see it's exactly flesh with the drain and here it's exactly flesh with the drain. 
and here it's exactly flash with the drain so we actually have very good to go so the quick, quick slope installation is completed the other thing that left is to cover the curve which I'm going to do the next so what I'm going to do now I'm going to let um, the bad mat to cure which will take 24 hours and then I will apply a different kind of a mud on the mesh because a bad mud 1 to 4 is good for an horizontal application while I need another bad mat that will be properly proper for vertical application like this curve because you have two vertical sides so we're going to leave it like that just that you know that it took over almost actually it took exactly six bags of um, uh, bad mud each one of them is 55 pound and so you can make the calculation we actually have 330 pound of cement sitting on the shower bed and they're not going to go anywhere the other thing I want to talk about is the stick that I purchased so as you can see there's only two stick here and you cannot see the other stick uh, really were not relevant because my shower is not symmetric so this stick is really good for a symmetric shower but when your shower is not symmetric there is some kind of a problem and the only two stick I use is this one that you see as a reference the rest are really not relevant so it's not really important uh, if you have a, a not not symmetric uh, shower that the drain is not located in the center of the shower so i don't think that the uh, stick is uh, is uh, really a good idea